It seriously has been two months since I've done my last throwing photo card video, but guess what? We're back. I am still in the midst of chaos, life-wise. Um, I'm still so close to freedom when it comes to my finals, but you know what? This has been severely long overdue, so I gotta get this out, okay? Like, there's no time to lose. So yes, we have the second to last storing photo card video of this year slash before my collection update because we all know me and not keeping up with my timeline. Yeah, we have a lot of cards to store. This is mainly just an accumulation of cards from my unboxings that I've done. I've done a bunch since the last time I did a storing photo card video as well as a haul, collective haul, just a lot of hauls, clearly. And this video is gonna be a little extra special because we are completely raw dog in this video. Bruh. Oh my god. Uh, let me explain. Meaning that I did not prepare for this video, really. I usually do a lot of preparation, like, you know, so that things go smoothly in the filming process. But guess what? I don't have time for that today. I did the best I could. We're just gonna go with the kicks, and that's why I have my box of sleeves out here. I don't even think a lot of these are properly sleeved, which is, like, detrimental. We're just gonna go with it, okay? We have no time to lose. Let's just get on with it. Yeah. I don't have any time to waste. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. All this talk about photo cards and not a single word on how I get these photo cards. Well, lucky for you, today's video is sponsored by Bai Yi Japan. <laughs> yes, today's video is once again sponsored by Bai Japan a loyal sponsor on this channel, as you may know, if you are a frequent watcher of said channel. So if you don't know, Baiyi is a Japanese proxy service, kind of like a middleman for you and Japanese stores that are, you know, located in Japan. And if you're an international customer and you want to buy from these stores, this is the way to go. So for example, I use Baiyi to buy photo cards from Makari Japan because a lot of the times I find a lot of great deals or harder to find photo cards on Mercari Japan. But again, it's Mercari Japan, so usually it's only available to customers in Japan. But thankfully, with Baiyi's help, I'm able to purchase my photo cards through here and have it shipped to their warehouse, have my packages consolidated, and ship that to me. And not even just photo cards either. I also use Baiyi to buy other things from other stores. They literally have so many different stores you can shop from. They literally have hundreds of different stores. Or another feature that I also have used before is this purchase request from other sites, where if a site is not directly integrated into Baiyi's website, you can just put a purchase request for another site. For example, I've used this for Weavers Japan. They will go ahead and buy that item for you and then ship it to the same warehouse. So yeah, if you are interested in checking out Baiyi, you can go ahead and use the link in my description to save some money on your first purchase when you sign up for your first account. And yeah, happy shopping! Thank you again, Bai, for sponsoring. As always, love you guys. The first binder I'm actually gonna attack today is Zero Base One. I'm not even sure if I've ever stored or done anything Zero Base One related on this main channel, actually, because I only, like, unbox their debut album and then, what, I did my setup video on my second channel and then I actually had to upgrade my binder <laughs> which was in a TikTok. So this is actually my debut for Zero Base One on my channel. Give it up for Zero Base One everyone. But yes, this is the current binder it resides in. This is a Meow Cafe Shop binder. It's like a giant macaron binder. And I did also recently set up my binder for Melting Point but this is the current setup and we're not we're still not doing anything Melting Point related because I still technically haven't even opened my albums. <laughs> Y'all, again, just delays with album shipping and whatnot. But right now, the only cards that I have with me are the remaining cards for their debut album, Youth in the Shade, as well as some other random merch cards. And once again, as you can see, clearly not organized at all. This is what I meant by Raw Doggin, okay? Not whatever y'all were thinking, just just unprepared, really. So, anyways, at least we get to complete debut era. <laughs> wow, I am so behind. I know, seriously, you guys, I don't even know where my headspace is at right now. 
there has just been a, a lot happening both in the k-pop scene and also behind the scenes i don't even know how to function properly and keep up with all these comebacks and merch drops and photo card collections and stuff i'm seriously kind of like taking a step back a little not that i'm like planning on quitting youtube or anything like let's not get crazy here but i need to settle my own fishes literally what does that even mean i don't know i need to i need to take care of my own business before i get into things like k-pop and stuff so that's why i haven't been doing like photo card shopping or just really a lot of things i have been trying to keep up with like certain things but yeah it's a little chaotic right now season's greetings season is also approaching and a little scared for that hopefully by next year i'll be a little more organized and in the collecting game again but right now admittingly i am a little out of it so yeah like see i totally forgot that i was supposed to sleeve my special teta cards in these very pretty sakura flower sleeves that i also got from Yao cafe but i didn't so i'm a flop clearly but anyways we only have these cards to put away left which was from their like little pop-up shop i didn't really set up for this pop-up shop merch for some reason but this is kind of like my random merch page so i think i'm just gonna start it here i know two of these are like benefit cards or something like which one is it I think it's this camera oh it's only this camera card because i know this is from the trading card packs wait no i'm just gonna put everything what am i even doing i'm just gonna put everything on one page <laughs> wow off to an amazing start i don't know what i'm doing i really am dying to open all these new albums though i literally tweeted like oh i'm gonna ship out these albums straight to like i literally went back to k-town for you because i was gonna ship it directly to me instead of my k-addy and i was like you know what i'm just gonna do this for the sake of me for the sake of you guys for the sake of hopefully the video being uploaded quicker because guess guess which company decided to do a lot of releases sm and guess which company really sucks at keeping their albums in stock sm <laughs> so the one thing that has been delaying my entire package severely was the chill kill bag version and it was tragic i literally had to wait basically an entire month afterwards but that package actually did it's at my house right now like it's literally right next to me but i decided to wait a little longer because i did end up getting like espa's giant albums from make star like a whole set because they had that a make star event or something and literally the cards were so cute it had the winter pikachu hat card so i was like okay i feel like this is my sign because i wasn't about to get you know like ot4 for like all the album versions and stuff but that was kind of like my sign too so i did and that shipped to my k Addy. and then i also have another group that i want to open on camera in that video that i also had shipped to my k Addy. so yeah i ended up having to wait for my k Addy package either way but it's okay because it, it's already shipped out and I'm really hoping with this speedy DHL <laughs> shipping, it'll get to me literally this week. Like right before I, I leave on a trip, a week long trip, which means a lot of chaos, even more chaos is happening behind the scenes. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully I can get all my ducks in order. But anyways, I finally also completed Hanbin's. I basically just bought everyone's cards because I have been so out of my trading game. It's not even funny. I haven't even touched my trade sale account, really. I've just been doing like group orders, like joining group orders. And see, I didn't even sleep this shit too. Damn. But and or like if people reach out to me for trades, I like accept it if I need to. So I just don't have the time to like sit down and like pack no i don't even know what isn't this sound wave do i even have a spot for sound wave i thought i did rut row i guess not okay well this matches this vibe more i will change the sleeve i'm just not gonna do it right now but i do want to put that there because it matches the vibes better so i'm just gonna put this in the back you know what i don't even want to think about these past era things for pov so i feel like i'm just gonna end it you know once the new era comes out that's my goal because clearly i am really behind on a lot of things 
Literally, I'm even behind on my main priority collection, which is Mark. I really can't believe... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to talk about it right now because we're not... This is zero base one. I'm like getting... Y'all, this is how long it's been since I filmed a video. <laughs> I didn't post a video last week. Sorry about that. I just needed that break severely. But um, I miss talking to you guys and I have a lot to catch up on. So that's why I'm just word vomiting right now. Like I'm literally just saying whatever comes in my mind, but I will wait. But for now, oh yeah, hello, Zero Base One actually had their comeback. And well, I can't even talk about that either because I'm saving that for my album <laughs> unboxing, which will come soon, I swear. But I did really enjoy it. And I do have a lot of albums to open and a lot of things on the way and stuff. So I just, I've just been mainly keeping up online on like Twitter, let's say. Like I haven't been really keeping up collection, like physical collection wise, but I've been trying my best to keep up with like what's, be like I, I, I think they just announced the fact that they were going to go on tour next year, which is insane. And then I don't even know if, if I'm going to see them because concerts are so expensive like i only went to two concerts this year you guys two which is a lot still you know like going to a concert is still a big deal but like you know there's been a lot of concerts this year and i only managed to go to two and i'll talk about the most recent one i went to when that time comes <laughs> see just a lot to, a lot to catch up with you guys okay but anyways we finally get to close this chapter of debut era Finally, here's my Matthew spread. I really have, he's officially like in the third bias line. Like he's in the collection game for me. So yeah, that's that. But if you have never watched my TikTok or my second channel, I guess this is literally the first time you're seeing my ZB1 collection. But this is what it looks like. Woohoo. Besides these fillers. Yeah. Okay. I'm really just grabbing whatever I took out, so I guess this is kind of perfect because this is also a big size binder like the ZB1 binder, but this is my Lacera Fim- <gasps> Oh my god, wait. I'm mentioning this again, but my new desk? I just realized this is my first time- this is actually my second video that I'm filming on this new desk, by the way. But I just realized I have a much bigger desk now, so I can actually- <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, it- Oh wait, okay, well- Hold on. If I put, if I like move my phone really back, then it fits in frame now. I don't have to do that whole random ass like page thing and put it in. I can actually lay my binder flat horizontally now. Round of applause. Thanks you, thank you once again to FlexiSpot for being considerate and of my filming situation, even though they probably didn't know. I didn't even realize this is another bonus of having a huge desk. I can actually store these cards properly now, holy. So we do have some things for the OT5 collection, which is basically just the Fearless Japan trading card sets. Once again, Unforgiven Japan is definitely in my list of things I need to work on for next year. Right now that's not happening but I will work on that. That is a priority, of course. Definitely before they have their Korean comeback, which luckily has not been in the run-in yet, so I still have some time, but I did want to finish this, and then I also got that um, Flame Rises set, which I, I'm actually, oh, I'm actually not even putting anything away from my most recent k Addy haul. I'm saving that for next time, because there's a lot of cards from that video, y'all. <laughs> I'm not doing it in this video, it's too much, but we do have the remaining cards for this now. So let's fill in the blanks. Because this one was not as nice and it was not completely random, sadly. And then they also recently had, um, not recently, but I recently got delivered to my Kaddy the, what is it called? The Unforgiven Japan. So it's like this, but Unforgiven Japan. And I bought like the 10 set, but again, it's most likely going to be random, I feel like, because this one was completely random, which is unfortunate. Like, why would you do it for like one merch set and not the other? You know, like, let's just be nice here, Weavers or Hive or Source Music or whoever's in charge of merchandise. But yeah, I feel like I'm just, this is just in the past, you know? Like, why are we still working on this? Hello? Okay. 
Ta-da! Okay, I think this might have been just a dupe. Yeah, I totally forgot I already had this card. But this is finally complete. The Fearless Japan set. Trading cards. Yeah. Okay, and then we finally get to whip out this binder, my Yunjin non-album binder, which also lays perfectly flat because I finally got my second round of Unforgiven thick slot things. This is my first and last, um, my first and last thick slot <laughs> because no more group orders for me. Hey, fuck that. Just kidding. That was too mean, but I still haven't received everything yet, but it's, it's slowly getting there. I'll get it in 2024, let's just say. <laughs> Excuse me while I grab my template really quick. Okay, so this, I think the things marked in green are the things I have right now. So let's see. Okay, Weaver's fan sign. Here we go. Oh, and this has, still has my old fillers too. Oh, I just realized that I double sleeved this, but these aren't double sleeves, but the double sleeve fits in these pockets. Do you see that? Oh shoot, maybe I should double sleeve everything then. Okay, Chon music. It's the ballet look. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's just, it's probably just an outer pocket because the outer pocket for these pages are the biggest size. So, never mind, not double sleeving. <laughs> oh, damn it, that means I need to flip this again. Once again, we are working with this as we go. Okay. One page complete, and then we should have everything here. Oh, never mind. I don't have Namir. Why don't I have that? What? Okay. We have Music Plants Fan Soin. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't have any of the Namir ones. Is, are, is it a Chinese site? Maybe that's why I don't have it yet, because I don't think I have any of the Chinese ones. Well, I mean, I at this point, they should be, like, shipped already, you know, at this point in time. But I don't know. Once again. Okay, K-Town for you, fan sign. Why is there no filler for this? <laughs> oh, I think it was this because I didn't have a slot for this film strip. Um, then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here because there's extra space back here. No biggie. Okay, Aladdin fan sign. Oh, Music Korea. And then Make Star fan sign. Last but not least, the last one we have for today, Applewood fan sign. All right, that was our second update for this binder. Hopefully the next time we update this, everything will be filled, whenever that'll be. Okay, with 17's comeback, this means we have a lot of cards to put away because carrot version time, baby. So, oh damn it, I need to grab more binder pages. Okay, glare is kind of bad, sorry. Oh wait, this isn't even the right binder. <gasps> oh sh shoot, oh my god, oh my god, oh crap. Y'all, I have a severe lack of spatial awareness <laughs> or just like, like awareness in general. I seriously need to like make sure everything is clear before I adjust my desk height because literally the transition of me getting this binder I almost destroyed my pegboard, I destroyed my mark poster on accident, and I literally crushed my Vernon binder. <laughs> Luckily the cards are fine, but this binder is, you can see, completely a little wrecked because I wasn't paying attention and it was sticking out, so... <sighs> Anyways, back to business. <laughs> Let's put away some 17 cards. Yeah, woohoo. Let's actually do something properly, please. So for Vernon, let's see what we got. Oh, by the way, I totally did not set up for the concept cards that came in the normal album. Um, totally forgot about those until someone commented on my setting up video. So... Things will have to change, clearly. <laughs> Y'all, why did I not double sleeve this? What? Why did I only single sleeve these? Why? <laughs> I'm putting them in the big binder. Oh my god, that means I need to sleeve these too. Ugh, FML truly. Okay. <laughs> Let's get started with 17th Heaven. Well, at least I set up for this, but again, not really properly, so... 
these will have to come out since these are gonna be the concept cards. Oh wait, and I have three spots left. Okay, so maybe it, do it does work out better this way. Wow, funny how things work out for me sometimes. You know, for some of the bad days, the good days follow, or moments. Some of the, for, for the bad moments, the good moments follow. Brad Chung, so inspirational. See, and they haven't even announced like a deluxe version or anything. It's way too late to announce that, right? They can't possibly announce one right now. Like that would be absolutely ridiculous. So now we get two full pages of photo cards. How amazing is that? I think these two are the only like normal album cards that we have. Do I know which version is which? Clearly I don't. <laughs> All I know is it's not the PM version. I'm pretty sure this is the first version. So we're just gonna put it there. And then this is the afternoon version, as I like to call it. And then we pulled one of the selfie carrot cards. Once again, I have done not done any trading. This is strictly from pulls. And then I also left this spot for the target card, which I also pulled. And then now it's time for the carrot card storing. Again, for some reason, I don't know why I only single sleeved these cards, even though I know damn well they're going in the big binder, so I have to double sleeve them. But I guess we'll double sleeve them right now. Ta-da! Look at all this yellow, sunshine, brightness, radiance, glowiness. Oh, <laughs> let's let's not look at that, okay? <laughs> so I don't know if it was in my last storing photo card video where I was like, oh, for the next storing photo card video, I'm gonna have this split up in two binders. Clearly that didn't happen yet, so we're just gonna try and shove everything in here once again. I still haven't even started a like binder maintenance video. Bitch, I barely have time to film these sort of videos, so, uh, <laughs> haven't even thought about filming that yet, even though I definitely need to. Um, but yeah, okay. <gasps> Wait, we finally get to finish our Wanu FML set, which is gonna be raw hair. Bam, these two cards. Okay, so this is the last normal album card that we have. Once again, we're slowly making the old fillers extinct. Okay. And then, FML Kino, Kino, Kino. Oh wait, we have this card too, don't we? Where are you? Wait, what? Wait, I literally bought this card. Did I not? What? Wait, what? I swear on my life that I had this card. It's literally a carrot card, you know? It's not like I was struggling with it. I'm not stupid, right? Like, do you guys not see it? Let's ask the audience. Yeah, I don't see it here. <laughs> okay, um, I guess I don't have it. Okay, anyways, we were actually quite lucky with our Wanu pulls for 17th Heaven for the first time. Um, I didn't get his Kino, which is something I will never pull, it looks like, but we do have quite a couple of, like, album cards. Wait, <gasps> we literally- oh wait, this is Weaver's card. I thought this was his concept card. But this is literally both of his, like, afternoon version cards. What? I actually pulled a set? That's insane. And then this is from, these two are from the morning con version. I did not get any of the nighttime version. Yeah. And I know they have the times. I'm too lazy to say that though. I just call it morning, day, and night. No. Well, no, these are not those cards. I just realized those are the Weaver's cards. So, <laughs> Ah, I truly am losing it, aren't I? Yeah, I, that felt too lucky. I was like, no, 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 no. There's no way I got that many pulls. So that's the Weaver set, which we've already established is going to go here. So we just yank these out and put the Weaver set here. 
it just looked so identical, okay? It's the same concept. And then did pull two of the carrot cards. And then back to our world famous segment of re-sleeving these cards. Alright, more yellow happy sunshines. Wanu. Lastly, we have Togyam, who we actually do kind of have a lot of pulls for. I kind of really was biased blessed now that I'm thinking about it. So we did end up pulling his weaver set, so I can just take that out. This is also one of the concept cards for this version. This is the weaver's. Okay. Oh, we finally have a night version card. Oh my god. Yes. Togyam. And then this is one of the morning ones. And then we surprisingly didn't pull any of his carrot version cards, which I'm surprised about. I did pull a lot of dupes though. Like Chongan was coming for me. Literally chilled. <laughs> know you're obsessed, but like, come on. Set your boundaries. I'm just kidding. Okay. So we have this bottom row, no Kinos as well, <laughs> but it's all right. We'll still persevere. And then we have the grand finale of me having to sleeve these cards on camera. <laughs> And with that, we conclude today's 17th Heaven progress. Once again, this is just strictly from pulls, but I feel like it's still pretty good progress, you know, like just from pulls, especially. Who knows when I'm gonna start trading these, like what, 2024, <laughs> once again? And somehow, miraculously, this all still fits in this binder, so I guess I didn't even need to split it for this binder. But soon I will, don't worry. I do technically have the these extra cards to put away. I still haven't even put away my Going 17 magazine cards because I do still need to do some binder maintenance, which I haven't gotten to yet, so I can't even like fit it. But I guess for these ones, I still want to put it away. I still need, I have to get some progress done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in their respective binders that they currently live in. So yeah, for example, Ming Hao currently resides in this binder this clear binder that i still have them in and we're gonna keep these poles and put them in here because they are too cute to pass up all right that's his special little binder and then we have little collect books for Chang'an and hoshi so i i think i only pulled his like carrot version cards but um I literally pulled three of them, which is crazy. Almost this full set. And these are so cute. So they're gonna go in here. Fulfilling my mini Hoshi collection desire. And then I do have a Chang'an one still from my previous Chang'an collection, if you guys remember. <laughs> when I collected six members, like what was I even thinking back then? But I also pulled literally three of his care version cards. I pulled like actually like nine of them I'd say but we can just go ahead and put these in here. Yeah. The collection I am terrified of <laughs> is NCT because I'm just very very behind. I'm still on ISTJ. Haven't even gotten the chance to work on OT7 for that. And um what's happening now? They're literally releasing another physical <laughs> I seriously thought we were done with NCT things. Like, I, I seriously thought the only thing I needed to worry about and what I was expecting was SMCU. I guess, surprisingly, they're not doing SMCU this year, which, thank God, I am relieved for. But then instead, we're getting a 127 special single 
with a physical release. Like, it has so many versions. And there's the OST that they're dropping for, like, their game, I guess. And then I still haven't even finished Golden Age, let alone ISTJ. So it's like, holy cow. Like, I really thought that the 127 Winter single was going to be just like a digital single. So I was like, okay, cool. That's exciting. Apparently, it's a physical too with like three regular versions and then like the SM Mini member versions. So truly an amazing time to be alive, right? <laughs> and citizens out there who's who's with me so i am very terrified for that but i guess we're just in it for the ride right i guess i took out my non album binder first so we're gonna work on that once again still have not made new fillers or updated this <sighs> clearly i just film my videos whenever i i can film them without much preparation but you know what? The chaos is a part of it. A cha the chaos is like, you know, is what you signed up for by subscribing to my channel and becoming a, a, a fan. <laughs> I don't have a fandom name whatsoever. Y'all can call yourselves eight ratters. I don't know. Go wild. You guys can call yourselves whatever you want to. Um, anyways, do we even have anything that's like in these past eras, I think everything here is like basically newer. It's just golden age going forward. I'm pretty sure. Which I don't even have set up really. Oh wait, the dream show? Okay, I think... Wait, no. This is for something else. Fudge on a stick. What am I even doing with me myself right now? Damn. This is just embarrassing at this point. ICJ, we have one thing, which is this. It's the Mumo. Oh, I did according to a template. I didn't actually write down <laughs> what goes where. So, you know, this is a Mumo card. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this here for now. Just pretend that that belongs there. And then move on with our lives. That means we need to start like brand new pages for these future things. So like Golden Age, for example. This is all I've got. <laughs> this is all I've got. I don't even think all of these are like special cards necessarily, but they do have the heart sleeves. Like this kind of looks like an album card. I'm not sure this is not just like some form of exclusive card. I genuinely don't remember. Okay, and then we have NCT Nation. There is merch for NCT Nation, so I'm gonna give this its own page as well. So I am just gonna fill this row for now. And then once we get in like the other NCG Nation merch, we'll fill that in. And what's left is um, the Dream Show 2 in Japan. They had like a lot of different things for it. But I remember seeing, oh, right here, the Dream Show 2. Oh, this is just, oh no, this is in a dream too. Wait, this is in a dream. In, what? But this is all the Dream Show. Why do they have, oh no, no, this is just in your dream. How many dream in your dream, dream show, blah, 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 blah. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put it like here. I know once again, it's not like in perfect chronological order, but it's still like within the same vicinity as like in a dream, in your dream, the dream show. So if I end up collecting like more cards for this, I will put it in here as well. And I'm not going to put any fillers in for now because... Again, I don't know how many cards I'm going to get for each of these things. So yeah, pretty messy. But hopefully I can find the time someday to sit down and reorganize everything. Okay, now we're moving on to the album things going a little out of order here. But we actually have a pretty healthy stack. So we have the newest 127 era... We just have these. Oh, wow. That's actually a lot. All right. So I'm looking at a template right now. First thing we have, exhibits card, which will go here because I made these fillers. Yeah. Oh, and I actually have a storage card too. Okay. Did not expect that. SM Mini right here. Bam. And then, oh yeah, there's this QR concept card, which I did not account. I never account for these concept cards because they're never on like templates and then I want to like put them away, you know, in my binder and then I don't account for it. So it's like, 
well, this is a perfect nine page, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in the back of here. It's just a concept card, I'll survive, and then this is the Walmart exclusive, which I did pull. And I don't have anything else, and then they're having another physical <laughs> release, so I better chop chop with that. And then we move on to the Dream Eras, for which I have, what do I have? Um, I think this is vending machine version. Oh. Oh. My lazy ass. Okay, and then this is the... Uh, this is go here. D2C? No. Walmart? No. No, it is D2C. This is gifted to me. Okay, and then all I'm missing... It's always the Walmart versions I'm always struggling with. I still need it, so... I don't even know if I'm gonna get it. Let's be serious here. I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. Okay, and then... Oh, I think this unit card goes in my dream binder. Okay. And then, last but not least, we have Golden Age. So I did end up getting his... Um, this Which one this is the archiving version, I think? And then I got his yearbook card. So I guess for the, like the regular albums, I'm done. I finally finished that. It's only four cards. And then I, I think, oh wait, this is actually both of his Japan exclusive cards, right? I'm pretty sure. And then there's more US exclusive cards. Bruh, I don't even want to think about it. Oh, wait. Oh my God. I just remembered that card I put away in the other binder. That was the Target exclusive. Well, I don't know why I put it in the heart sleeve because I counted as like an album card. But I could not remember for the life of me what that card was from. But now I remember. Because I remember I traded it. So, yes, I do have the Target card. Thank God. What? I, I think the only card I don't have is, like, the D2C exclusive. And then I don't think there was any other exclusives, right? You know, like, Barnes & Noble or anything? No? So, okay. Golden Age? Pretty good, okay? Kind of shocked kind of proud and then for another brick that we have my big old ot7 binder which once again i'll have to split someday hopefully i didn't say in my previous video that i was going to split it by now because uh that didn't happen but <laughs> let's see what we got for this oh yeah i like sparsely worked on my istj collection it's really just like the photo book versions i think i'm really need to work on oh and the vending machine yeah Oh, and I guess those QRs that I have yet to... <laughs> See, I haven't even traded ISTJ. Like, that's how far behind I am. But, okay, what do we have? Oh, that is not a dream member. What? <laughs> um, we have these three cards. I think these three are all vending machine versions. Because that is the version I wanted to work on the most. So, we have Chemis. Hechan Geno. And then all we need is um, Chi Sung. Oh, I just realized this is in the wrong spot. <gasps> I feel like someone would have corrected me by now for that. And I just didn't read their comments. But good thing I noticed. Ha! And then we move on to Golden Age, which I did set up for, right? Yes. Okay. I am really scared of trying to get... This is the collecting version, right? For Che means because he has a little bunny rabbit and... He's expensive already, so the fact that he has a bunny rabbit in his photo card, oh, that's terrifying. But I li at least I have this archiving version right here. Very slow progress. And then I ended up put it pulling Genos because I pulled like 20 Hechan yearbook cards. Oh, wait, Chunla's right here. Oh my god, so sorry, Chunla. Is this the right? Oh no, this is the collect. Wait. Okay, it is this version, but... Is this the collecting version? Oh, I didn't get his archiving? Oh. Guess I just got that for some reason. Okay, this I'm just missing too. And then... Unit cards. So I did get this unit with Mark and Chi Hong. Just need the Runjin and Chemin. Alright, I technically still do have some, like, NT... Like, this is literally all from fact check, but this is, like... These are, most of these are like extra cards too, like, for example, my pulls from my US exclusive cards, which I, once again, haven't traded. Really want to trade 
some of these US exclusives from Marks, so you can hit me up for that. And then so these are like, you know, OT9 things for like SM minis or posters and whatnot. But I don't have that set up once again in the A5 binders, the Pokemon binders to be more specific. So that'll be a later problem. But I do have a collect book for 10 actually, where I can put this card away. This is his Target exclusive for um, Golden Age. This is it. I still haven't opened um, On My Youth yet. So that's going to be in the future haul. But I really like this card. It's so pretty. Look at him. Show not that tat slay. Who is next? We should do a girl group next. So let's do Oive because they had their comeback, which I am still obsessed, obsessed with, of course. All right, we have my girl group binder out. I don't, do I have any other? Oh, wow. I really don't have a lot of girl groups to put away. Sorry, y'all. But, oh, this is twice because I unboxed Misamo. But... We just have I've to put away because they had their comeback with I've mine. Let's see what we've got so far. Once again, it's just from polls. So for Eugen, we have oh pfft, one card. Yas, and it wasn't even a poll really because this technically I got a full set of this POB. So this is the Starship Square Bundle POB. Wow, how satisfying. <laughs> One card, yay. And then a lot of these are like sets, sort of. So I also have Wan Young's for oh, the bundle set. I did pull her. This is her Digipack, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, I literally made a filler for Loved Ive twice. I was like, wait, where's the Digipack filler? Well, at least there's a spot for it. And then the rest of these are the remaining members, which I have the Digipack and like the Loved I've set. So starting with Kahus, put this here, Ray, Liz, and then East Hall I'll have to put in another page. And these were my um, Digipack pulls which we almost have everyone's for. I think I just need Eugen and Ray's. So go ahead and put these in here. And then continuing on, Yisho's here. And then we also have these three group photo cards, although it would be satisfying to put them in one row. Right now that is just not possible. So we're just gonna stick these in here. And if it ever changes in the future, we'll change it then. No biggie. All right. We know we unboxed in Hypen's latest album, Orange Blood. Here it is. I did technically open two more copies from my um, collective haul, future collective haul, because I got the signed copies. But that is not included in here. Oh, shoot. I also forgot I have Dark Blood cards in here. Okay, so we get to complete Dark Blood too. Oh, and like their Japanese album stuff. Whoa, so much is happening. See, I haven't even finished Dark Blood yet, and Orange Blood is wrapping up soon. Whoa, am I behind? Okay, so let's see. I think this is the engine card. What card goes here then? Uh, this one. Wait, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the last normal album card for this page. And then I also bought the other engine version. Such an iconic era, let me just say. Still not over it. Oh, orange blood, right. Did I pull anything for J? I think I pulled one, yeah, one card. And that's it. Because I was super duper Jake blessed. So I think this was the Xana version. Since it's the first version, I remember this is from my first album. And then, uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> right, they... Literally the day I posted my setup video, they announced the Weaver version, which is why I, there's no fillers for it, but there's three cards anyways, I'm pretty sure. So it fills up this row perfectly. So yeah, it works out anyways. I don't need to make new fillers. Okay, and then Jake, we have quite a few cards for him. <laughs> Jake stands one that day. So first we need to finish Dark Blood, which I did fortunately by, Oh, I forgot to put this J card away, damn it. Um, this is what I get for not putting things in order, but it's fine. Well, we can always go back, no biggie. 
get his dark blood cards, which are so pretty. Yeah. Okay, this goes here. It's literally the same, like, thing as the engine one, so it gets a little confusing. And then we get the new version, right? Is this a new version? And then his other engine. Okay, and then this came in like a buy bundle, so I'm gonna put this here. It's like a Weaver's thing, I'm pretty sure, like a Lucky Jar or something. I don't know. Tar Records, maybe. And then same thing with Jade. This came with it, so of course we're gonna put it away. Yeah. Oh, and then, right, we have our Jake Mania for the this album, Orange Blood. Can I remember? Okay. Yeah. Literally, look at all this. This is insane. Oh, because I'm pretty sure this was the engine version, right? One Kasana? No, it's this one. One Kalpa. Although I do have the target card too, and also this Polaroid, which I didn't account for. So, hold on. How am I gonna do? Oh, that means. <gasps> Oh my god, I almost dropped it. That means I need to set it up for Jay and Sungloon too. When the time comes. Um, should I just do it like this then? Maybe like this? It's gonna be an A pattern either way. So maybe like this. Eight pattern. Dun, 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 dun. So I'll just do it for Jay for now so that. I don't forget, and I don't end up doing it, and then we're gonna have a problem. Target Polaroid. Okay, right. And then our third member, Songun. Let's finish this first. Dark Blood. Oh my, oh my god. This blood's pumping crazy. Cause I know you'll save me. Boom. Dark Blood is officially done. Okay, and then did we pull... Oh, we pulled one card for him. Yeah. Oh, and this is a Japanese card that I pulled of his from their Japanese album. Okay, this is from the Engine version, so we'll go ahead and put this here. Cute little bunny rabbit pose. Love that. And then this is, once again... Oh, like, my Japanese album luck is pretty good. Like, look at that. Our third one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Anyways, oh, this is like my extra cards page, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these um, Changwon cards back in here because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I pulled a lot of his, and then I think I was planning on collecting, like, OT... How many? Seven? I just blanked, sorry. OT7 for the engine version, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and, like, set that aside for now. And then... Look at how many Changwon cards I have. That is crazy. And then... We'll start a new page because I do have these Hanu cards, which I pulled. But yeah, like I would prefer to have like my biases. So if you want to trade for Jay, I am down. Just hit me up on Insta. And then as a temporary placeholder, I'm going to put these in here. And then once the day, whenever that is, arrives for them to be put in a different spot, I will change it then. Okay, and Hypen is done. Dark Blood is done. Orange Blood, we started. Okay, for this binder, we actually do have both EXO and BTS because I did open everyone's solo work because everyone's just doing solo work now. Everyone's enlisting. It's enlist, it's, oh, I shouldn't say it. It's E-word. <laughs> everyone's E-wording. It's E-word season, like. Woods too, like why they have to take Woods away too. <laughs> he just finished his tour, like man, I was, he, at least he's releasing new music, but like I was so not expecting that, like I don't know, I have no conception of like time and like people's ages and stuff, so like don't at me, but I was not expecting that, that's for sure. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. Literally he was still on tour when they dropped that news, I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's happening. No biggie. Of course it's a biggie. Did it not open? Oh, it's right here, but I'm too lazy to move it. So we have his solo album cards for Expectation. 
this is literally my favorite card ever literally his cards are so cute but right now i need to i seriously need to put a pause on like casual album purchasing or like collecting and stuff because i have a lot of main things to worry about so definitely don't have the time to be like you know dilly dallying and like buying everything i want like no even though his photo cards for this era is so cute they're so cute i can't like chill but we do have a lot of bts solo cards to put away oh i did see the news that they were dropping the tier vinyl which i'm excited about i also bought chimin's face vinyl from target so that is on pre-order but in this binder why did i go so far back what the heck we are putting away v solo finally yeah 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 okay there are a ton of cards to put away i don't know how many there are exactly but i guess we'll find out together i have 23 cards god damn that's almost three pages of eight but not quite i think i might just like i know like literally across all the versions there's like different it's different versions but like it's the same photo you know should i do it by vibes y'all let me let me see how this would work if i were to do it by like vibes you know okay so um it doesn't work out perfectly because a lot of these cards have like it's the same photos obviously like same setting and like outfits but it's an uneven amount of cards like you see like three literally six like six come on three four four and then these are the outlier ones that are completely different so i don't even know if this is a good idea but i am gonna do it by vibes because why not so um i'm gonna start with this <laughs> this madness like what is going on here why did he take so many dang pictures like this in this setting but it's okay and I know this might bother people. I know people might be like, just do it by like blue, purple, weavers, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like if it's like this similar, you know, it looks a lot more visually pleasing like this. Also, the backs are all like so general, you know what I mean? So it's not the biggest deal in my opinion. Anyways, we can go ahead. Wait, should I match the beach vibes and do this version or this setting? Because this is still, like, outdoors, like, wavy hair, beach, yeah, nature. <laughs> and then this is more for, like, indoor vibes, you know? Six? And then there's, like, four of these cards. So I think I'm gonna have to do it like that. So it's literally gonna be nine, eight, six, which I know is pretty unsatisfying. Again, don't hate me for doing it this way. But in the long run, it might look better. You know, because the similar -er the pictures are, the better. And no, I'm not going to collect any more cards. Like, I'm not going to try and get more POBs or anything. This is all I'm doing. It's, it's all I've got. So, <laughs> this is the end of it. The end. Chapter closed. We have enough cards. <laughs> okay, and then uh, this is like... Oh, this is going to be kind of unsatisfying because I would want to do a six pattern for this. But I'm not gonna do that. Oh wait, maybe I should, should... See, I know this way exists, but it's not really like my favorite way of storing cards. This like corner method. But I guess in this case it could work, right? What do you guys think about this method? I think I'll leave it like this for now. Do you guys prefer the 2-2-2 method or just this? You know? Because we know the 2 2, two is, a, is a classic, but I guess in this case it works. Okay, but now we officially put all my layover cards away. Yeah! Okay, and then, once again, I'm trying to like keep all these groups together, but we also unboxed Jungkook's album, which we did get all the album cards for, and then get like Weaver's cards? I think I might have, but it's in my K. Wait, no. I don't even know. What am I even saying? Anyways, these are our Chonggu cards. Um, I, I know these plain back ones are the normal album cards. So I'm going to go ahead and put these away first. And these are our extra cards because this is the Weavers. This is the um, Target exclusive. And I'm not planning on... I know it's just one more card, but for now, I'm not really planning on getting the other Weavers card. Although it is very tempting because, you know, it's literally just one more card. 
for me to complete his entire like album sets but I definitely don't want to buy another Weavers album. I'm sure it won't be that expensive, you know, but again, who knows? Okay, but yes, finally get to put my Changu cards. Yeah. Okay, speaking of E word idols, <sighs> this is just like, I wanted to make this such a happy experience. Like, I went to his concert. It was so much fun. I am getting actual FOMO from seeing other people on Twitter and whatnot. Did I talk about my concert experience? I think I kind of did, but um, yeah, it was a blast and a half. Really enjoyed it. What do I have to put away? Okay, we mainly have like Udi cards and then the cards I got from the concert, which is fun. Yay. So yeah, I do obviously have... No. Well, FOMO and PCD. Like, oh my god, the PCD was like really hitting like that week. I was like, whoa, I really miss him. That was such a fun concert. I just want to listen. I love his music so much. I've been listening to his music. You know, after that post-concert listen session, like, whoa. And then I did like the high wave experience and like the um, group photo, which actually did come out. I'll, I guess I'll put the picture here. I'll, I'm obviously going to cover everyone else's faces. But, okay, as I put these cards away, should I just, I'll try to talk about my experience as much as I can, but it was enjoyable for the most part. I think the only reason why, like, there was some sort of, like, negative aspect of this concert experience is because it's just that I blame the universe. Like, the timing of this concert was just kind of unfortunate because this was literally, like, when was this? The week before my finals weeks because technically finals week is one week, right? But then two of my classes, they decided to make their final projects the week before. So I technically had like two weeks of finals to work with. And the Woods concert was the Thursday. It was on Thursday too, the Thursday before my first finals week. So I was stressing. I tweeted about the entire thing because I was, I was like in the moment, but basically I missed soundcheck. <laughs> because I decided to be a studious student and go to class and then I made the dumb mistake though of going home first and then to the venue when I could have just gone straight to the venue from school because the traffic during this time was horrific. I literally was driving for two hours like and I ended class at 3 30 by the way so like and sound check was like at five so big mistake on my part. I showed up like 30 minutes late they didn't let me into sound check. They almost didn't even let me check in for VIP Wonder. Although like technically like you could have checked in like after the show, I was terrified. I was like, am I really not gonna like get my group picture in high wave? Like what? I already missed sound check. I knew that. I already took that L. But that was again not really my fault either, but also my fault, but also just again the timing of it all. Cause like and on any other day I would have just skipped class being completely honest, but I already did skip a class to go to this concert, but, and then, um, okay, anyways, before I continue, these are the cards that I got from the tour. Okay, so these cards are from the photo card set that they sold. It was $15 for six cards, which I feel like is not bad at all, and then these are the cards that came with VIP Wonder. If, I think for regular VIP, you get one random card, but Wonder, you get the full set. And then, these are my favorite cards though, by the way. Love these cards. But, so for my high wave experience, literally, the thing about these like high waves and stuff is that staff is obviously like on your ass on these things and they rush the hell out of you. I did not want to be that person to get yelled at. So I basically rushed through my experience and I literally was just like, when it was my turn, I was like, oh shit, we're literally like speed walking through this high wave. It wasn't a high touch, it was a high wave. And then I was just like, Suko Asoyo, like, you did well in Korean. And he was like, oh, thank you. And then as he was saying, Kamsamida, like, Komasamida, like, thank you in Korean, I literally turned away. So it looked like I was turning away from him as he was talking to me. And I felt so bad. I was like, oh, fuck, damn it. But I can't, I can't turn back because, like, they're going to yell at me. They're going to be like, nope, get out, go. I was just so worried about getting yelled at and, like, holding up the line or something, like, I was like, ugh. And then obviously we had to go back around for the group photo. And that was even sadder because what had happened was I got placed at 
literally at the edge on the front row. He's in the second row standing. He's in the middle. So literally two people in that row get to stand next to him basically. And then there's a row of people sitting down on chairs and I got placed on the very end, right? So, um, and they hid him behind a curtain until it was time to take the picture, which like why? Just wasted like interaction time, but I guess it was just for the sake of speed. But anyways, um, we sat down, he came out, we took the picture. And then I, I did turn back really quickly because just in case to get like a little like one more interaction, like bye or whatever. He was facing the other way. Obviously, I don't blame him for it because obviously he's trying to address like 10 people at the same time. But again, I didn't want to like just linger and like wait for him to turn my way because again, scared that the staff were going to yell at me. So I literally just walked out. I just left because I was like, nope, I'm not. I don't want to get yelled at. I feel like I need to leave, you know, so that I you know, don't hold up a line or whatever. So yeah, no interaction during that time, which was so sad. I was like, damn. But again, no one's fault except just the universe, okay? Obviously never blaming Woods. I just felt really rushed, you know? And I, I partially put that on myself, you know? I, I didn't want to be that person to hold up the line and get rushed. So yeah, everything was just a big blur, but I am very glad that I got the, that experience, obviously. One thing I kind of regret though was not getting the one-on-one -on -one Polaroid sesh, like, oh my god. Major regrets because um, at that time when they released it, I was like pretty broke and I had already spent a lot of money on like VIP Wonder and stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna pass on this. But if you really think about it, it's $100 extra, right? Which is obviously a lot of money, no doubt. But it's like, you get a Polaroid of him, which like a Polaroid in itself is pretty expensive. But not only that, you get to meet him and take the picture with him. It's you and him in that Polaroid. After I really thought about it, by the time it was too late to buy it, obviously, I was like, that is way worth more that $100. So, missed that mark. Damn, but it's okay. That was my Woods experience. <laughs> Recapped. Overall, very fun. Really wish I could have seen him again. But now he's e-wording. But at least we're getting two new songs. And he sang one of them at the show. So yeah, anyways, really fun either way, loved it. Okay, that's it. Um, all right, wait, we are down to our last couple of things. Wow, I am, I've been filming for an hour and 40 minutes. Love that, yes. So, things we had to put away still, we have TXT, Stray Kids, because I did unbox their albums recently. And then just some like mini things, like literally these like solo, albums and we have this L's up things put away these are gonna go in collect books so it's not gonna take too long and then we'll be done I don't know why I just took out everything could have just kept it in the box okay so Stray Kids this comeback happened of course we already know so these were our pulls that we got I actually don't have any signed copies or whatever because I missed out on them but it's okay so this is literally oh wait no I technically also have my um, Nemo version that I haven't opened yet, and then my OTA postcard versions, which actually arrived, so still don't have those opened yet, but these are just from what I got from Target. Okay, so Hyunjin, I separate everything, so I'm gonna take that out. It's just these two. So, oh, I did set up for this. Awesome. Oh, and the headliner version. I do have that too. Just remember that. And then, oh yeah, I didn't know these Polaroids were going to be included, so technically... Wait, oh no, this it's the limited pre-order thing. Okay, yeah, so this goes here. Okay, glad we established that. That's all we got so far. And then as for the rest of the things... How was I going to do this? I did set up my binder technically. I kind of forgot how I was going to do this. Okay. So it's going to be the two postcard photo cards, and then I think this is going to be the Nemo. But now I have this, this pre-order set. I guess technically I could just put it, like, do one of these. Because this is what I usually do when it comes to, like, pre-order things for Stray Kids. Just make a an 8 pattern. Oh, wait, but this includes Hyunjin, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, I don't have an extra of here. Oh, wait. I think I do, actually. It's just in my album. Um, well, I don't have time to get, go get my album, though. So, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> you know what? I will hopefully remember to grab that extra Hyunjin that I probably have in an album. 
so I can complete this OT8 pattern. But for now, I'll just stick the remaining seven members in here like so. Alright. Alrighty, okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. And then these are my postcard bowls. Yes. Okay. So I think the selfie ones are the normal cards, if I remember correctly. So it looks like we pulled Pangchan sets. And Ian set. Nice. Okay, and then we have this Changun card. And then we still have like eight more albums to open technically, so hopefully we try and pull OT8. Okay, that is our Stray Kids progress so far. Zooming in to do TXT because they have their comeback. See, comeback season. It's just crazy right now. Okay, so this is just our Subin binder, so we shall take out whatever souvenir cards that we have in here do 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 so i did set up for it thank god gravity and reality starting from here <laughs> y'all my yeonjun luck though was actually insane i pretty much pulled all of his normal album cards i think i didn't just pull one which is actually insane like how crazy is that i did pull the rest of his cards in my I'm referring to this collective haul video that like y'all are not gonna see until like two months from now probably but yeah it's actually crazy so this goes here and then these two are literally just like there's only one gravity card right okay so that means i think the target yeah the target card should fit in here like that i think that's what i left that there for and then this is a like lucky draw so this goes on the non-album page which i don't have enough space for so yeah 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 yay that is our txt progress so far there's these group cards and apparently there are three versions of this weavers group card should i put it in this binder because sometimes i put like group cards in here you know i'm just gonna put it in here for now because it is three slots so like if there's three versions that's kind of perfect like look there's a group card here so i do kind of use it as a filler then this is probably our last A5 binder, which is the rest of TXT. I don't have all the Yeonjun cards with me yet, but eventually I'll have like full pages of his freaking freefall cards because I pulled so many of them. Let's organize this by member, shall we? Yeonjun. I'm gonna go ahead and put his target card here. And then. Okay, I'm gonna put this card here as well. Because, like I said, I think I only have five of his cards only, which is basically his entire sets that I pulled. So, obviously I don't, like, collect him fully. So, I'm gonna basically put it, like, boom, 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 and then the gravity will go in here. Ta-da! So, yeah, that'll be filled in soon. Don't worry. And then, who's next? Taehyun... Is it just this page for Taehyun? And then it goes, wait. Oh, it's by Era. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I was like, wait a minute. What is this? I thought I separated by members. I did not. Okay. So starting from here. So now we get to start our free fall adventure. I guess, did I basically put all my pulls here? I think I might have. So I guess we'll go in that order then. This will definitely be changed though because, um... Obviously, it depends on my pulls. I don't re remember my pulls right now. So this will change in the future once I put additional cards. But we'll just fold it in like this for now. Okay, and then... Yeah, I'll leave like a gap. One gap. That's the safety gap. <laughs> just in case I have like extra cards with them. And then safety gap. And then... Starting, oh, I have this clarity set. Nice, for heating high. And then gravity, of course. And then the Weaver's Lucky Draw. Wow, I didn't even need this extra page. Nice. Okay, that was it for all of our A5 binders. Now we just have teeny little collect books, and then we'll be done. 
All right, so for Somi, I gave her her own collect book. I'm basically giving a lot of people their own collect books now because I have a lot of extra collect books now since a lot of these collections have like expanded. So now I have some empty ones, which I can give some of these artists their own collect books. Like for Somi, I do have like the game plan Nemo version and stuff. So it's about time I gave her her own collect books, even though I don't know when the next time she's going to release a physical. <laughs> That's Those are my pulls from one Barnes & Noble album. If you guys watch my collective haul. Okay, next up, oh, I also did give Shiny their own collect book because I do have a lot of like Shiny and like Shiny solo cards. So for example, I have Temmings here. So we can go ahead and start putting his cards away. I don't think this is gonna fit this ID card. Oh, it does, okay, thank God. I was scared, but let's go ahead put my pulls away and then I do have this extra card this is from make star we're, we're just gonna go ahead and put this card in here first bloop done it's about time these legends got their own a5 binder okay last group we're gonna attack is L's up brand spanking new they are getting their own collect book which collect book do I have remaining for them is the question. Let's see what we have. Why don't we put them in? How about we put them in here? My former Yenna Hello Kitty A5 binder. I mean, I s oh my god, I'm messing up my words. Y'all, please <laughs> cut me some slack. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this Yen card. Oh, even the back matches the Voibs. I technically do have one more set of albums on the way because I did buy um, the M-Wave signed albums and they are coming in my next k Addy haul, so we will be able to open that. Although I will open it, but you guys will not be able to see it until God knows when because my video schedule, who knows? A lot of these clips are in the archives for a very long time. Sorry, but... We get to put these L's up cards away. Literally, the more I listen to Cheeky and the more like performances I see from them, the more I love them because they're so talented. And oh my god, literally their mama performance. They performed Snap, which I've never verbally said on my channel is one of my favorite things that came out of Queen and Puzzle. That song is so good, especially Athena's version. And then they like performed it as L's up at Mama. Bruh, did it for me. For me. But anyways, that is our brand new L's Up. So I kind of lied when I said that was the last couple of things because this is actually the last thing. I knew this was going to happen by putting these cards on the side, but twice solos. Hello, how could I forget? So we have Chihyo solo to complete and then um, Mizamo to put away. So let's see what we've got. Oh, Oh my god, I almost just dropped that. Okay, for Chihyo, I think this is the last orange version. These cards go better together. It's the same outfit, so let me just scooch this up real quick. And then, hold on. Okay, the white tan beige back. There. Boom, boom, and then... Wait, why does this have four? Are there four cards per... Why did I think it was three? Wait, for Nyan was it? Wait, for Nyan's it was... Wait, is there three or four? Okay. Hold on. Does this mean I'm not complete? Wait. Wait a second. Huh? Oh, wait. Okay. What am I doing? Okay, orange card is here. So this is the last one. Okay, do I not have this last beige card? Bruh, there's no way. I am legitimately confused right now. What the actual... Oh my god, it's this card. I don't have that, I guess. Wow, I really thought I bought every single card. Maybe I couldn't find it. Maybe this is a card I was talking about for like, 
I remember I talked about a card that was like really hard to find. It was like super expensive. Maybe it was this card and I never bought it for that reason. It's the Wanda situation all over again. Okay, well, I don't have it with me, clearly, so we don't get to finish it today. God damn it. So close though. But at least we get to finish this, the Digipack as well. Okay, yay, Chico's not done, not quite. Should I just put the target card there and call it a day? I don't know. Anyways, okay, last but not least, we have Miss Humble to put away. And it actually looks like we have four group cards and then just this one extra Mina card, which you'll see in a second. Let me just put these cards away first. Because this is all the collecting I'm going to do for me, Samo, because there is a lot going on. So, yeah. I'm content with this one page of group cards. Look at how gorgeous that is. And then, this will go here. It literally seems like this is planned, where I have, like, a page of extra cards. But it's this is literally, like, extra cards. Seriously, like, this came in a buy set, this came in a buy set. This is just the Target exclusive that doesn't fit. This will be the tradition, I guess, for the Twice Solos. Maybe I should put this... I need to put this on a separate page then. I mean, like, somewhere else. Like, right here. Ta-da! Okay. That is actually the conclusion of this epic, epically way too long storing photo card video. Wowzers! Two hours of filming. I don't even know how I'm gonna how much this is going to be condensed, but I guess you guys will find out before I do. Um, but anyways, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more videos like this, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, hugs and kisses, happy holidays, stay safe, stay healthy, stay beautiful, stay everything good, yeah, blessings. Well... <laughs>